everybody. Welcome to another edition of The Oldish TV. My name is Karen and as always it's wonderful to have you here. I know that a lot of you watch this show uh, in the archived format so I'm happy to have you there too and I want to thank all of you for supporting the program that we did last week on Frailty. It had over 8,000 views and I was really, really happy with those numbers. For us, that's a lot. And um, you know, if you have anyone who is dealing with a family member who is pre-frail or has frailty, then I would urge you to have them watch that show and they might find some information that would help them. So thank you again for your support for that. And on to today's show, you know, it is September. <sighs> already. I don't know where all the time goes, but it's a little cooler. Got my sweater on today. And, uh, you know, I tend to think back when I was a little girl and going to school. September was always a time when we got those new notebooks, you know, and you turned the cover and there were all of these wonderful blank pages waiting to be filled up with who knows what. It was always an exciting time. And I think September has remained that for me even as an adult. Um, the world has a blank page and we get to do with those blank pages whatever we want. So COVID has made 2020 very different for all of us and our blank pages might be a little scattered. I'm not sure about you but I know that mine have been. But now that things are a little more settled and I'm more used to this new routine of life. You know, I'm very conscious that this is the first time ever that the entire world has been dealing with the very same thing at the very same time. We're all a bit scattered, but I think it's time maybe to turn our attention to the lessons that we can learn from COVID. Um, for those of us who have been blessed enough not to be ill with it, or have loved ones that we have to look after who are ill with COVID. Um, it has perhaps given us now a bit of an opportunity to reflect. And I know that for me, one of the things that I have reflected on is th that things matter differently. I've been able to sort out the wheat from the chaff a little bit more. Some things that seemed important before just don't seem that important anymore. Um, you know, one of the things that I shared with you last year was that I sold my house and I am still getting rid of stuff that I brought from my house and it's in storage and I'm still sorting through it. This whole experience has made it easier to get rid of some stuff that I've been hanging on to. Different memories have different meaning now. So that's been a good thing. I have been more focused on eating better, taking care of myself better. I live in a rural area, as you know, and uh, that means agricultural land, uh, lots of fresh fruits and veggies. So I've been doing way better in taking care of myself and eating better. I'm also finding myself more focused at work. Um, you know, some things that I've been sort of struggling with and seeing how they fit together have become crystal clear. And I'm really happy about that as well, finding all of those connections like many of you, I've not been able to see friends for quite some time, since March. But since things have loosened up a little, I've been able to see some friends, physically distanced, of course. And I am finding that when I do spend time with my friends, I am enjoying those moments much more deeply than I ever have before. I'm really enjoying that. I spend a lot of time online because for the past three decades, my businesses have all been online. And I was always sort of hurrying to get through to the next thing. You know, things would pop into my mind and I'd have to look that up and go see this and go see that. So I'd bookmark things and I'd save things and really not get back to a large percentage of them. So I've become much more discerning about what I save and commit my future time to. And I'm actually finding that when I'm more careful about what I'm saving and what I find has value, I do get back to it and I do watch it. So there's a, a bit of a downside for some people as well, I suppose, in that I have become less tolerant of time spent 
discussing things that are meaningless, time spent doing things that are meaningless. And what I mean by that is when I ask a question and the response that I get is a bunch of words that don't mean anything, that just fill time and space, but don't actually answer the question, but kind of skirt around. I just have no patience for that. I didn't before. I am known by some as a very direct person. I feel that I've become even more direct now. In fact, there's a website that I want to share with you that uh, a friend pointed me toward quite some time ago, and I use it a lot. It's kind of fun. It's also kind of serious. It's called the Blah Blah Meter. Literally, B-L-A-B-L-A-M-E-T-E-R.com. The Blah Blah Meter. Now, some people call it the BS Meter, but I don't want to offend anybody. So the site even calls itself that, but its technical name is Blah Blah Meter. So here's what you do with it. You copy a bunch of text from anywhere. For me, it's reports that I get or letters or emails. Copy the text and paste it into the little window in the blah blah meter and hit check. It's kind of startling to see how much of the stuff I get anyway is filler and meaningless and blah, 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 blah. It's not unusual for it to be as high as 65%. And I really feel like people have come to believe that the, the more content they shove at you, shove into something, the more important their report seems. Really, I just want the facts. Just the facts, man, just the facts. Um, for what it's worth, I plugged this script for today's show into the blah blah meter and I got a score of 0.14. Yay! That's awesome. That's not even 1%. That's good. Okay, so I think what 2020 has done for me in this pandemic is kind of create a, a blah blah meter in my head. And it helps me to sort out exactly how meaningful my life is, how meaningful different bits and pieces in my life really are. And I am kind of liking that. I really am. I've talked about uh, some of the ways in previous shows that I'm seeking to make life more meaningful, more simple. We've talked about Christmas, you know, my, my children and I are talking about how we're going to do Christmas this year. And, you know, in one way, it kind of doesn't matter what plans anybody makes because the world could have different plans and we could all be on lockdown again in a heartbeat. But, you know, my kids, they want to buy homes. They want to grow businesses. And while Christmas is traditionally a time when, you know, we get shopping lists and we go and buy things, I'm just finding like, I don't want my kids spending money on me because it's Christmas. I want them to spend time with me because it's Christmas. That is my new currency. Isn't that great? I'm really enjoying that. I haven't bought a loaf of bread in months. I make it. And you know, maybe if I'd spent my life making bread, I wouldn't find it such a thrill, but I haven't. I've really only been making it since uh, late spring, early summer. And I really enjoy that. I enjoy the time making the bread. I enjoy eating the bread that I've made because I'm a carboholic, but I enjoy eating that. Um, I enjoy also supporting the local stores here, buying more local, making a more concerted effort to buy local, to buy things that are made in my region, in my province, in my country. And it doesn't matter what country you're in, I hope that you find the same joy in supporting the merchants and manufacturers in your country. Reorganizing goals in business has been good as well. Um, I'll have more on that for you in another week or two because there have been a couple of reorganizations. I like it. As you join me in turning the calendar into September and we all find this new normal, I highly, highly recommend sorting out the stuff in your life that is blah, blah, and spending that time on you. 
or at least on things that are meaningful. You know, take the extra time that you spend not dealing with things that have no meaning and take that extra walk. Do the yoga class on YouTube. Dig into that book that you've been wanting to, to dig into but just haven't been able to find the time. I hope that like me, it will all help you find greater meaning in this life and see that there has been a blessing or two that has come out of the pandemic and the new restrictions that have been placed on us. Life can have more meaning than it ever did. Glass half full, it's all in how you look at it. Join us next Wednesday for another edition of The Oldish TV. And until then, please take care of one another. Take care of yourself. Do remember that it takes a village to age a senior.